Fast kick is not there. I have not uh, shared the screen. Already. Oh, I start to have a. Uh, where is Shirley? Perry and also uh, Shirley is not there? No, okay, your partner. So you are, as I remember, you are the only group book me for copy and check. Is that right? A copy. Anyway, late. <laughs> so uh, that is for Shirley later on. This is for you if you don't mind. This is for you. So any students book me for coffee, my coffee, and uh, later on this one, or perhaps other toys. I surely get my smart glass for project. I don't have too many, but I might have something else, okay? Book me. So uh, let me share the screen. Just for fun. And remember, this kind of uh, mass is not really protective. You need to have double. The wheel, you know, the normal one is for protection. This one is for fun. So it's not to be used outdoor too much. They are air con, you know. So you enjoy the talk we had. One hour. We can do more. It's not exclusively for the international student. We can talk. Vote me. Half an hour, one hour, we, we, we can talk beyond 2121. 21. We can do your career plan, academic plan, what you want to do after bachelor degree. You can talk about that, Walter. Yes, that's me as a teacher. I have a lot of experience. I love to share that, okay? Today, uh, last week, we had a lot of stuff. I started to introduce some technology together with uh, what Michelle had done. Today, I try to do similar. There will be things that you might not have seen. I wish that would be uh, useful. Give me a second, 32. Hello, take a seat, take a seat. Hello, student in the back. Hello, excuse me, excuse me, student in the back. Hello. Hello, you might take a seat, OK. OK, now we start. Uh, the recording is here. And uh, today uh, I tried to redo uh, what I had done last week, and uh, last week I guess uh, we had a. Hello, uh... hello, 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 So last week uh, we uh, had some good talk, uh, introducing and integrating some technology, more demo. Today I want to do again. There will be things that uh, I personally, I personally believe you have not seen a real demo that you can do in laboratory, and that kind of uh, technique can be used to not only for this subject, can be used for other subjects, other computing uh, activities. And perhaps your other future business career, integrating business with uh, with technology. Okay, that is called the tax mining. 
Uh, Polytechnic uh, is very good in uh, data mining. Most of the teachers later on in the coming years, unless the uh, international student, you only stay one semester, the, the exchange, Alex. Uh, the data mining uh, is a likely subject that you will do. And but the focus would be on the data mining, which I had mentioned last week. The association clustering. Uh, market basket, uh, the. Uh, uh, the uh, decision trees, etc. They deal with data. The data meaning last time we, we mentioned about. Zero and one, the Boolean. Or the discrete a number one, 17. 600, 667. Or uh, the weather, 36.4. My PMI, which is, uh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> anyway, my weight is uh, 62.8 in the morning. My blood pressure is good today. Touch wood, 128. High ceiling. And this kind of uh, data mining is very general. You will be discussing with your, 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 your teachers in one subject or another. But tax mining is something else. Uh, I personally would say, comparing to the uh, teaching and guidance on the data mining, the tax mining is less being discussed in the, in the computing curriculum. So I would give you good demo, give you some illustration about what they can be done. Okay, but again, there will be no exam about that directly. I would not be asking question how to do the tax mining like what I ask in the laboratory. I will not, but I might. Fair to me, fair to you, I may ask that uh, in what situation would you consider the uh, adoption of tax mining in some application and why? Okay, I might ask that kind of question, non-technical. Now, uh, I will go back to some of the earliest line, but uh, allow me. Oh, by the way, had I shared the screen? I had not, okay. Can I share the screen? Let me try again, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, no, no, okay. I should open it up here. That is the, uh, the screen. Okay, I share again. So actually, I'm focusing on this computer. Share the screen onto the, uh, the other one. Because the uh, the on uh, the face to face student are here. Okay. So we are here. In case you see somebody talking something, okay, we can see. Uh, the former teacher was a little bit late today, but no, no disrespect, and um, he was doing a good job, so I was a little bit rushed entering into this. Okay, now. Today could be more heavy, or I say in proper English, heavier than last week. Okay, so I have expectation today. Uh, I've I done quite ex preparation. So we have missing linears. Last week, uh, after the class, I create. Uh, I asked the technical team to create me an account. Come twenty one twenty one a, which is uh, regarded as a student. I already created the PowerPoint in order that you can uh, use the Connect account to uh, create your own access. Some student year three already told me. They, they tended to spend a, a few weeks during the Christmas break in order to go punch through, consider the exam might be. Okay, now, consulting hours. Uh, some student told me that there are some other hours not within this scope. Team me, talk to me. I'm very easy to talk. Saturday evening, Sunday evening. Walter, I need to work on Sunday afternoon. I, I, I need to make some humble money. It's fine, no problem, okay? But uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I have classes, a little bit difficult, but it's not impossible. Not to be shy, team me. So we talk about what time? 
So uh, the coming Saturday, I have the whole afternoon. Vote me. I'm on campus. So coffee time, whoever coffee, have souvenir. Okay? Pink color or other toys. And uh, first of October is a public holiday. I'm still okay. But that need to be team, okay? Microsoft team. Talk or video, Sunday as well. Other time possible. Not the time to be shy, book me. Okay? Fair enough, fair enough. And somebody don't have a, uh, a group, okay? Uh, you, you have a lot of method. Uh, talk to the classmate during the break time, okay? Or right after the class. Uh, you can uh, talk about during the uh, tutorial time. Uh, or you can email me, chat me with your full name and, and, and ID. So by your permission, I post every few days. Now I announced there are some people don't have a group. Seeing each other in the uh, tutorial. I also on the blackboard, I create a, uh, a discussion board. Uh, some some student. Lily, are you there, Lily? OK, good. So somebody respond you. Already two. There's a lady at the back back end. OK, the last row. She says she could. Yeah, that's Lily. She chat me and she was so shy. No teacher ever respond you like this, right? OK, in the middle of the night, I chase you. Who are you? Why you find me? No problem. Let's talk in the, on Sunday morning. We create this because of her push. How dare you push me? Later on, you come out to get your souvenir. OK, Lily, OK. And uh, so join her, find your teammate. My way of doing things is that I would not be forcing you, hey, you be a friend of her. She will be a friend of you, your partner. You're adults, you do your own. In extreme case, I have a little bit, OK? I would not need to know the formation until the time you submit the proposal. I don't need to know, but but when the time on the first page of the proposal, you have the name and the ID, and then I know. All right, and I will check immediately after the on, on the next day who is missing. Whoever missing, I will call you or chat you in order to help you, okay? So I have bought, don't look at the next, next page. I have ordered the, the iPhone 14. Guess what I bought? What color? What color you think I bought? Huh? Pink. Who else think I, I, I order something else? What what the capacity I order? And by the way, when you believe that started to deliver? I order a pole, not a max pole. Oh, by the way, don't you know that the uh, chips, the CPU is different between the pole max and the junior uh, model? The uh, the pole and max seems are uh, uh, a sixteen. The other one are uh, are fifteen. I forgot they are different. It's the first time almost. Correct me. A same slot of the iPhone with different CPU. Can you can you can you tell why? Huh? Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so uh, the deliverable is uh, end of the month, about one and a half month, one month something. That's a fulfillment difficulty. They could not uh, deliver now. And why they couldn't? The factory had not produced it yet. Maybe they also need to give room for the um, China pandemic control. I was told that some of the iPhone, I don't know whether version 14 will be produced in uh, India. Uh, let's wait for the quality. Statistically, no bias. Even in China, the, the quality of anything was not good. We need to be fair. OK, it took a bit time, a few years in order that the quality is good. So I would say having India on the equation as uh, one of the uh, iPhone producer is good for the world. Perhaps I teach a technology 
management, everything need to have a uh, risk management, things like that. Okay, hello, thank you so much. Wait, 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 wait. And uh, I also, the first time ever, buy the Apple Care for another 2000 something. If somebody believe Walter is stupid, raise your hand. Am I stupid? Stupid. Is it good to pass seriously? I humbly ask your opinion. Why? I, I never, okay, now, I never buy any notebook, smartphone, iPhone care. It's the first time. I have a bad feeling this time. What, why, why is good thing to do? Seriously, I humbly ask your opinion. I should buy it. I should not. So you, you think I might be a little bit stupid. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? No, just a joke. You do good. Okay. Uh, it's the kind of uh, insurance by the uh, company they got more revenue. Okay. For me, I would say in case I have some accident, I have more care. Can I cancel it? Uh, yeah, I can cancel it and reorder it again. Yes, because now the deal is that I gave my credit card number. They have a record, but they have not charged it. Based on my, my experience, not until a few days before they actually pack it, so called the actual fulfillment, they wouldn't uh, collect the money from my uh, credit card. The chance exists. If somebody convinced me I'm really, really stupid, I consider to cancel it over the weekend. I, I don't mind delaying another week. Okay, tell me, Walter, you're stupid, and then I can cancel it. Okay, tell me your name later. I can give bonus. <laughs> no, don't mind. It's not you say the teacher is stupid, meaning I did this or No, no, no. I respect you. Are you sure? Okay, thank you. Now, just about the e business scenario, the hottest product. Hang. Okay. Now, another topic. Whoever will spend time on World Cup soccer this quarter? Eric, you watch soccer? World Cup soccer? Yes. In Hong Kong, we have one cable TV, as I know they say they're exclusive. I used it to subscribe them. $150 US, okay, we're using US dollar uh, a month. And I see, uh, we all know that the World Cup soccer will be held in the coming November because of the weather in Qatar. Uh, 280 is Hong Kong dollars. About 35 US dollars. Okay. They say give your package 35 US dollars. All the games. Good quality. I was too busy. I thought it was a good deal. Not one game, all games. And I have been uh, the Dial TV customer for a long time. Who, who at home are doing Dial TV? Many, okay. You, you, you watch uh, English Premium League, that is the, the, the channel we are looking at. I click on the button, I thought I subscribed. Correct me, I couldn't. They say you need to call them. And then I knew they have something. And then I become very alert and very careful. And it happened that I pressed a uh, English button. I should use Cantonese. But for some reason, I accidentally press a language button. Fine, never mind. I say, is it really 280? They say there are some conditions. The conditions is uh, many different categories. If you already, the Now TV customer, based on my memory, what they say on the weekend, you need to subscribe at least one channel of $70 per month, about nine US dollars. And normally the contract would be 24, 30 months. So altogether, it is about 2000 something Hong Kong. And they say, not yet announced, just the package itself for watching all the uh, World Cup soccer would be about 1000, 1100 Hong Kong. You need to be very careful whenever engaging in e business. There are a lot of threats. That's what I mean. They fish you. Oh, 2080, five for World Cup soccer. They know that you want it. Wait a second, it's not just a click. 
and then you pay one thousand. Their terms and conditions. And I told the guy, we've done a good job. You're a very good salesman. It's nothing about you. Help me to tell your 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 manager at the back. Your offer is highly dangerous for customer. Very hidden. The trap inside another trap. It's only an example. I have friends for financial related business. Click a button. Uh, investment something. When uh, you win some money, small. When you lose money, you might bankrupt. Be very careful. And also in deep business, there is one phenomenon we all know. Are you the usual customer of water? You are the usual customer. You are the guys. I can control. I can do whatever I want, not in your bank. You are a new customer. You will receive normally more benefit than the old customer. Killing the uh, the existing customer. Okay, that is the uh, dark sign of the e-business. Now, another thing uh, I mentioned about the e-business. Uh, maybe I will have some other video. Amazon is in the West, the biggest supply chain. German, Europe basically use Amazon. They have European warehouses, consignment directly off the factory, United States. Even in China, I know they have, but not a mainstream. A decade ago, a decade and a half ago, I heard about the Amazon acquired company called a keeper, K-I-B-A, by the amount of money, about 600 million US dollars. 600 million US dollars is a lot of money. Your BASF only invests 100 million US dollars, euro, about the same, in uh, Canton, Guangzhou, uh, Canton somewhere, is already, already regarded as the biggest BASF investment ever chemical related in the world. Hey, let's know the story. So I look at somebody spend, Amazon spent 600 around, maybe 500 something. A decade and a half ago, not now. That was a lot of money. To acquire a company, I was stunned. What the hell is this company so valuable? It is this company. Later on, they all integrated together. So if you click on uh, Kiva under Amazon now. So you can find job and you can see a lot of such robot uh, moving around. So let us see. Just two minutes. I don't always play video, but a few minutes. Boston, Massachusetts. You may have seen all this in other YouTube. What are the differences between a robot running and a fulfillment? That is 100% related to e-business. Without all this, the use of physical product, e-business doesn't stand. Okay, Psycho not psychologically, in terms of operation, what is the difference between this versus the good old day, uh, Alex or Terry uh, want to order some books, toys? So I'm the uh, worker, the book, the book of one stage, the idea. So I grab it, put it in the box, maybe a trolling, okay. Uh, the same order, can we order some point? Lego, oh, here, this one. Okay, so I'm the worker moving myself, human, in a big warehouse, as big as a field, football field. This one is different. I'm an operator, so I click the uh, the button of Alex order ten item. 
the robot of all those cargo will move to me. I don't need to walk. Basically, I don't need to walk. Come on, Hina, grab it, put it into a box. The robot walk away. The other robot come. I grab it. I walk. That walk away. It's a completely different business model, even from a human economic perspective. Now. Oh, by the way, there's a there's a page that all is different. Now, Sprinkling is one of the database I mentioned. You can search on the uh, PolyU database. There's a 2022 uh, kind of academic book. Dark sign affecting both consumer employees. Last time, Terry, Alex, and, and, and Sherry, we talked about your individual paper. You can consider that as one of the possible topic for your term paper, the dark sign of the e business. Just, you can talk about metaverse. Do you trust it? NFT. The literature review is something you don't express your opinion first. You see what other people say. Okay. Uh, this one. Last year, I originally I want to bring you to them somewhere in a Hong Kong warehouse. Last year. This year I asked them because of the pandemic, they are very hesitant. Last year in November, when I bring the student there, they were in Hong Kong, basically no infection, basically. So they uh, accept 50, 60 people. Now, if you click onto the link, sorry, here, uh, here's the link. You can click by yourself. It's open. It's my one of my Facebook. I have many Facebook. Look at what they do. Worth your time. It's not showing off another video. They want to you. Okay, now. Now let me explain this company. It's a multinational company somewhere in Taipo. One and a half hour driving. Okay. They are selling uh, some kind of health product. The pills, uh, those pop, uh, uh, powder to, to weight lifting training. Hong Kong is one of the center. The producer seems from Korea, as I heard. But they're using Hong Kong as a hub. So they are customer from, I don't know whether China or not. Singapore, Malaysia, Japan, Australia. So Hong Kong is a hub. So cargo coming in, one of the first thing to need to do would be to distribute using the conveyor belt. Hey, you go to the Philippines. Hey, you need to go to Australia. Okay, that is incoming. Incoming part of the uh, logistic. So we continue, okay. This one I thought and for some reason it is being adopted also in China. And they now coming to sell such technology. I tell you not only Amazon, not only uh Paola, Alibaba, big company needed. You know why they need it? 
It's fancy. It's a go for. No, more than that. Now, it's deeper into the side. I wish the statement like that. Yes, I think this. I can tell you. It cannot survive the tell. Accuracy. That's it. Somehow, if you continue to use the human worker, up the product into a tray, going to the chicken, your business cannot grow. I want rapid deliverable. Somebody give me an order. They want to be within the United States, same day delivery. At least they want to see the cargo has been dispatched to be to the courier today. People love to pay additional money just because I can receive it tomorrow. Or you are not fulfill this, forget it. Time. Capacity, if you believe your volume is enhancing a few times in a year or two, you need to go you, you, you will sometimes need the Amazon and Taobao. Really should wrong thing. Accuracy. Human pick up. When you thought you pick up the toy, you pick up the How about and Timo really pick up wrong thing? Accuracy, capacity, speed of deliverable. One more thing. Small warehouse need to be condensed together. Combined together. People will be winning more business. Because my company with this robot can ship better, faster. Winning cheaper. In this kind of mentality, you cannot survive without such robot. It's selling so good. I regret I cannot bring you there because of the pandemic. I, I try. I try to look at their door again, okay? Don't think it's a toy, it is the latest technology. If this video worth you to have a look, you see, they are all the cargo. Related to medical product. Don't walk in. Don't walk beyond the yellow line, or you will collide against the uh, the robot. But we'll take you to. Now, this is brilliant. The robot you saw was very small, something like that. This one can up to, can hold the weight, as I saw, up to the ceiling. A decade ago, when I first first see people, it was just able to hold the cargo of ordinary supermarket nature. This kind can hold a lot of much bigger thing. It is an The robot is that big. That big. Think about it. Don't laugh. Think about the technology behind it. It is related to the uh, postal office. Courier services for ordinary letter or documents, not cargo, okay? China Postal Office, the lady just mentioned. Alex, you see that kind of thing before? It's good, okay. It's very popular now. But I need to show the respect. The first time I heard about it is from the Western. China make it a more booming adoption, okay? Fun, a lot of fun, okay. And the operator will control all this. So, the operator sit here, the cargo coming. I don't need to move. The cargo coming in. And the both showing about the history and also the technology. It's very big, very high. I was with some student, okay? It was somewhere in uh, Science Park.
or you can search internet. The company is called G Grid Plus. Okay. That's the robot when it is going to charge like your home carpet cleaner automatically. Okay, because the Facebook link is inside the uh, PowerPoint, so you spend time to look at it. Okay, is it good? Okay. Now. This one you have to join. I don't know whether international students can join. I don't know. Recommended by the head of computing department, Professor Lee King. It is another university, I know. They have a training section, a period of time. Year two, year three students, we believe. The PowerPoint is here. All the links are here. Just the training itself is very okay. Okay, just the training. In English, that's a problem. In English, you can see it. Where did you participate in something? I guess in Hong Kong, you don't need it, I guess. But it was in the or one to one years to Hey, Walter, you're 40 you. You're 60 you. How come? We have other things over here. We also have them on something. FinTech student, even ERS student, computing student. Here are put. Okay. Do you have the link? I already I will uh, I will upload all this into uh, into the blackboard later. Basically, you click this link, you register. <clears throat> Whether they are face to face or not, I don't know. Don't miss the chance. Turn your uh, school life into a good life. In prior year, they organize it. We also have the. Uh, have the student who participate, okay? I just received it yesterday, okay? Form a team. And if you say this learning can be part of the same dish, Contour 121, this competition, if the formation of the member are, are together, I'm fine, okay? I'm okay. This one, uh, last time I already, I already post, I do one more time for you. So I log in as a student. So I log in uh, as a, eh, which is a, a student. You need to first uh, create a profile first, saying you're Hong Kong Polytechnic student. You're a student, remember. Don't use Hotmail, Gmail. You won't see it. Connect. After after you create a profile, don't overdo it. You don't have to. Integrate this on your come 2121 subject. And I out uh, before I come to the class, I talked to a student our son. I wish to demonstrate more thing in this subject. It's a tool, it's a year two subject. It doesn't mean forcing you squeeze you to do a lot of complicated projects. Year to pay, okay? But it happened just you year four. I try to bring you some tools, vision, that note. That is beyond 2121. That is one of the reasons the, uh, the department asked me to teach this subject. They know my approach is a little bit different. Beyond one subject could be crossing over to the other computing study. Actually, I have one vision beyond just the degree. The technique you adopt can be used in your career in other things. Okay, I wish that can convince you. Anyway, we showed that last time. Uh, this one would be the uh, the wheel system, and if you want to do the learning, click, click on this button. Assess. Now again, this is not part of the assessment. I might not even ask you S K A S V in exam. I would not. 
But if you see this kind of tool is good to learn, go for it, okay? So uh, the wheel system is still loading. I don't care. That is the uh, learning part. You go into the e-learning. You are now student, remember, using at connect, you are student. So you click on the e-learning. You lock in, which you already lock in. You will see a lot of stuff. One of them is you want to, uh, you want to learn. Start learning. You want to build analytic skill. Skill. Okay, skills. There are many, many different kind of things. You can go back to the more fundamental, so-called the SAS programming. A lot of the banks, financial institute, insurance, government want it. They are actually the most fundamental, but fair to say that it might be the most boring. They are the most fundamental, the market leader, but they are a little bit boring. Okay. If I were you, which I had capstone student to have done this, is the machine learning stuff. Machine learning using SAS, VIA or Enterprise Miner, okay, which I, I showed before. Survey, I skip it. You can launch that uh, wheel software, but I don't do it now. You can click on this to download the 400 pages, something I showed you last time. Neural network is contains some of the video. Just example. A neural network is a nonlinear model yeah, that is designed to mimic neurons in the human brain. A major advantage of nonlinear models is flexibility. You can predict very complex surfaces with neural networks. However, traditional nonlinear models have drawbacks. Neural networks avoid some of these limitations. In this lesson, you learn to build neural network models. Okay. So I, uh, year four student, Bernard is also uh, taking the capstone, not capstone, the data mining subject, sitting with student with Dr. Corus Jung. When they're talking about uh, some of the technique, we might be adopting some of these for enterprise miner for his capstone project. Quite a few students have been using some of these tools for capstone project. Year four student, you can include that as part of your learning. So now, uh, last, last week, some students already come to me immediately on the same day. Uh, they had a difficulty to assess. Now, no problem, okay. Everyone can assess. So I close it. So I don't repeat it, okay. So you would uh, create a profile with your Connect account, not Hotmail, not Gmail. And then after that, you would uh, uh, create the, uh, you, you will log in. So uh, this page is special. On the first time you log in, they will, they will say whether you want uh, you, uh, to accept the license. You click yes. Click this one and submit. I didn't show you because I already submitted. So you will see this page. Clicking on this blue button, you will have the wheel system. Clicking on the ESS, you have all those material, downloadable document, video. You are the king or the queen in your universe. Okay. You're logging in, you will go to e-learning. And then you can go to the uh, analytics. <laughs> Pick up one of the, the learning agenda. You cannot learn everything. If you learn everything, you need 20 years. Seriously. They contain downloadable the data set, etc. 
So if I were you, related to the current FinTech AI EIS, the machine learning and the NSAS enterprise miner should be able to give you some insight. Then uh, you go in. The videos are inside the yellow button. And when you click the button, you can see the uh, video step by step. You don't have to finish it today, one day, over a weekend, two weekend, or during the Christmas break, you are the king or the queen. You can click on one of the button underneath this one. You can download the booklet, which I show you. A few hundred pages, step by step. You might say, Walter, it's quite difficult. Take my foot past subjection. Year two years to be student. Sorry, year four, you're a bit late. Easy thing has no. Have a lot of too, too many competitors. If you are year two, year three, find a thing which is difficult. Okay, so uh, I guess we have uh, one, one minute. How um, many? Okay. So we have a short break. You do you need a link? Computer link? Tap, tap, tap. Or um, USB? Uh, USB. Okay, yes. USB. Come, come here. Now, uh, try to use this computer. You don't need a mic. This computer is so good. Uh, you plug in a, a USB. I open a browser. Uh, okay, you can directly. Take a seat, take a seat. Thank you, thank you. We have the uh, the colleague. From uh, the entrepreneur, uh, from the Cato, right? Yes. yes. Cato talking about the uh, a few minutes, talking about the poly U micro fund. Okay, they are the real poly U micro fund people. Okay, double, double click. Yeah, good. Okay, they are they are seeing it. Okay, okay. Maybe people. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this is Emily. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is Emily from KTEO. Today, I'm here to introduce our latest entrepreneurship conflict to all of you. So what is microfund? Uh, microfund targets all poly members to apply. Uh, we target students like all of you. We also target alumni, GPA post We also target poly U staff and also poly U technology licensees. And this cohort, we are coming from a project which is uh, innovative business ideas and of course, uh, technology oriented projects. Yes, what well, we support, we provide more than 1.5 million Hong Kong dollars uh, in terms of funding and incubation support by Holly and also Hong Kong Science Park. Now we, we are uh, open for application already, and the teams will be entering three stage, getting different kind of awards in different stage. Uh, after the application deadline, all the teams will go through an elevator pitch. After you are shortlisted from the elevator pitch, you will immediately get the cash price at 20,000 Hong Kong dollars, plus a conditional offer to the Hong Kong Science Park Ideation Program. And if you are the top performer from, from, from the elevator pitch, you will on top get enjoy the five weeks training program. And after the training program, all the finalist team will enter a final presentation. And if you, you are awarded after the final presentation, you will get the remaining $100,000 Hong Kong dollars uh, seed fund plus the science part incubation program uh, plus uh, 1.2 million Hong Kong dollars. If you don't want to enter the Hong Kong Science Park, we will also nominate you or your team to the Cyber Park and also the Good Sea. The five weeks training program, uh, 
uh, actually the teams will be divided into different groups and then uh, we will provide a mentorship. And during the five weeks, we will uh, probably line up some industry partner to validate your, your business proposal. And within that period, you can modify your, your project. Other than the training, you can also enjoy using the, the space, the working space of our Inno Hub, uh, locate, locating at the Hong Kong campus and also the Shenzhen campus. And the most, one of the most important thing, uh, uh, the team will, will enjoy a lot of showcase opportunities and also uh, uh, we can maximize the, the PR exposure. Uh, through some regular investment meetup, uh, probably the team can can um, can get some potential invest investment, and also we will nominate the startups or the teams to join some competition. And then some we we regularly organize some uh, industry networking events. So within that event, probably the teams or the start the startup can can reach out their potential customers and can earn money at the end. And here are some of our networking. And uh, we closely work with those organizations. So the assessment period uh, and the criteria. Uh, currently, we are open for application already, and our deadline will be on the 16th of November at 1 p.m. No late submission will be, will be, will be allowed. It. And then right after the, uh, the application deadline, we will conduct an elevator pitch uh, by end of November and until early December. So we will announce the shortlisted teams uh, uh, of entering stage one and two at that time. After that, we will go through a, a five week training training program in January. By, by end of February, around 21st to 22nd of February, there will be a final presentation. And after that, we will announce the, uh, the we will announce the awardees who uh, the stage three, the awardees. Our assessment criteria are more or less same as the previous cohorts. Uh, we, we will evaluate the, the innovation and creativity. We will evaluate your business model and also uh, uh, your core members' competence. And one of the most important thing is we would, we would like to see uh, what is your social impact of your project or uh, uh, rate your R&D activities. If you want to know more about the mic microphone or if you want to have, have your own startup, you are, you are welcome to, to sign up one of our briefing section in, in October and November because the, the content uh, it, it's the same, so you can either sign up one of them. Our online application is now open. Uh, you can scan the, the QR codes or go to our website to, to, to apply for the microphone. Uh, the document needed is pretty simple. We need a PowerPoint with no more than 15 slides. We need a video uh, with no more than three minutes. And then we need other supporting documents such as your CVs or your team members' CVs. Yes, if you want to apply the microphone, please feel free to scan the QR code or if you want to sign up our briefing section, please feel free to, sign, to, to scan the QR code. Yeah, here are some, some successful startup, uh, Poly U startup, and you probably will be the next one. Those startup already got the award from microphone and they they are now enjoying a lot of opportunities to participate in a lot of competitions, uh, exhibitions, and of course, some of them already match some uh, 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 investment already. Yeah. If you have any questions, please come to KTEO, uh, reach me out, or you can go to, you can ask Science Part for the Ideation and Incubation Program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, that, that's some more comment and for Emily and colleagues. Actually, uh, I guess this class is proper uh, to uh, for this, and I have since week one asked the student to combine this with my project assignment, so they can be actually one thing. Happen to be your time schedule this time is very close. So uh, in 
Pirate years, some students actually learn from it, get some uh, poly microphone, and subsequently they get additional money from somewhere else, exceeding a million dollars from Hong yes. yes. And that is one of the former uh, students. So I guess uh, you might not directly participate this year, but year two students, you might play using my 2121 as a training. Think about and massage a good project idea and participate in coming year. Okay, so year by year we accumulate yes. some good strength. The yes. first year they might be shy. Yes. Okay, but yes. I have been very much pushing this since Thank many you. years ago. Thank okay, you. in in this subject or the other. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. a million. Okay, you can unpack it. So thank you very much. Thank you. I will leave you some. Yeah, yeah. Leave some. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fong. Thank you. By the way, any student have been uh, considering to play this? Anyone? Yeah? Might be too early. The proposal submission would be a bit later. Thank, thank you, Evan. Okay. Thank you. Anyone need it? Okay, grab it. Interesting. You know what I just done? They asked me uh, to collect the student name and ID. I asked them why. They say the management one. I say school management. They say the office. I mean, you, you will encounter such thing. People certainly ask you the data, not only your own data, your subordinate, your student data. All the data that is related to the business as well. All the data, your name. Yes, I know the student ID is not that sensitive. The uh, passport ID or the Hong Kong ID could be more sensitive. But still, all these information need to be listed only on a need to do, need to use basis. You are the class student, of course. The administration of the 2121 to know about who you are. I'm your teacher for emergency. If the student never show up, never submit anything, the shoe he had been very good in in the action. Why? Maybe he uh, had a walk in the uh, mountain, fell, or fell down somewhere in the river. You need to save me. And then I may need to find the school, get your number phone for your safety with international student. I do it. They disappear for few years. We, we worry. We need to be responsible for your parents, your friends. Be very careful. One day people ask you for the data, which is not necessary, in my opinion. What they just ask is not necessary. The president wanted it. I would say I talked to the president. I still repeat. It seems it's against the law. Seriously. It happened, I teach computer audit for the whole 10 years in PolyU computing. I'm very sensitive on this. Do I have this similar attitude like what you're doing? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so you, you think I do a good job, right? Yeah. You understand my logic? On a, this is a term to say, on a need to do, need to know basis. It's a philosophy about computer security that your computer security subject teacher might not have told you. They are on the technical side, I'm on the managerial side. This jargon is exactly what being the governance principle in big company on a need to do, need to use, need to know basis. All right, but we we'll talk about that in Tom 4127. Make sense, okay. Good example, the dark sign of everything. Give me, a, give me a few minutes, okay? Two minutes, okay? Because the next section will be very useful. Don't go away. You might not have seen it. Two minutes. Let me breathe. Two minutes.
五个，你看，五六个，五六中啊 ，OK， 啊 ，OK， too many。我睇下先，我睇下新嗰、那個。OK 啦 ，OK 啦，我我哋偷個包 OK。我唔係 record 人一個都得嘅。It some some student need to work. They really find no friends. So one, two, three. 係咩啊？係咪寫四 ？OK, normally four to five. Three is OK. Ah, three is OK. One is OK. Two is OK. Three is OK. I don't restrict you. Ah,、uh, normally. What do I say? Typical, I say the English four or five. Typical, oh, oh, oh,、okay. they could be exceptional,、oh, so, but not six. So three is okay, two is okay, one is okay. Oh, oh no one, thank you. Okay, no, my God, uh, 都唔系一件好坏嘅事嚟嘅 I understand some students need to work hard to support the family. They really see no friends. Fair, I respect it. But you need to know that your submission need to be as good as the others. Okay, okay, now. You click on this one is the whole book. Maybe I can I can、uh, click on this one. Sprinkling, right? Database, sprinkling. One thing about sprinkling is that、uh, they have a lot of book free of charge. But 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 be fair not to、uh, abuse. In my room, I don't need to log in. I guess、uh, they give more privilege for the teachers. Now it's more public. That is the one. You are student. You can do the same thing. You can download the PDF book. There are many things. So quick. So I、uh, when I download, you see. Sorry, have I downloaded? Save. Open the file. This is the one. Open with Adobe. So if I view it, it's two page. So there are many things. Reasonable content. If you search just on Google.com, the quality of the paper are fundamentally different. Okay, anyway, I want to talk a little bit more about、uh, tax mining. Okay. Unless I'm wrong, most of you have not been engaging. Anything related to tax mining, unless I'm wrong. So it is a、uh, very useful, I would say, in terms of the latest、uh, internet world, e-business, if you wish. What do you actually read on internet? Zero and one temperature, seventy、uh, eight Fahrenheit. Yeah, you read it. The price of an iPhone. Twelve thousand six hundred forty-two. Most of the time, we work in big tech, Facebook. Sometimes, um, the uh, okay. Well, even when you read the pictures in Instagram, it always come along with some description. What this picture talk about? It inspired, right? So we cannot go away the text, in my opinion, most of the time. YouTube could be different. 
YouTube is another dimension of what I don't talk about. Uh, here are many things we can do. This book, and also the uh, left hand side, especially the right hand side book, is official curriculum of text mining by SAS. The bread. E copy you can download. A couple of years ago, the first time student used it was a master degree student. You got an A in the master research uh, project. You can also use it. Now, uh, the next set of slides, no exam. Okay, so don't worry. Basically, text mining is a combination of uh, information retrieval where you get a text, internet, email system inside your, uh, your company. The maintenance record of automobile. What, what do you think of the maintenance record? In morning, your parent or you drive the car, some sun straight. The clock is not very smooth. It's the first time you know there's something. So you still still able to, to drive. So you drive your car to the mechanic a mile away. So you orderly tell the mechanic to this drink. Nothing happened before, no crash, anything. The sun just not right. The mechanic, oh, okay, Alex, okay, your car model is both making something. Blue color, how many years? Okay, it was it was uh, produced in 2012 for 10 years. How many miles? What did you say in the morning? What sound? Okay. You're touching something with the sound, they mark, they mark it. Such kind of mechanic, I mean, the repair technician. They collect many, many such dialogue with the customer. They have millions of entries. On what form? Text. Why didn't they put in the computer? Come on. Not all the mechanics are computer major like you. They're mechanical people. They're educated, but not as high as you people. So what they do is here. Similarly, when you go to an like, insurance claim, sorry, I broke my leg. Really? What kind of profit? You play badminton? They write a lot of things to discuss whether they will give you money for the insurance. In the world, there are many records in handwriting. Stand my computer. They are, they are sitting at the back of nowhere. Nobody do the analysis. But suddenly, one day, the model of your car had a major car accident. Not me, okay, lucky is another model. The same model in uh, France, not in Germany. Unfortunately, killing a few guys. Most we don't want to know. Do we have a big problem on the same model, have a similar symptom? Then what is the decision point? If that is the case, we call back all the car. Otherwise, if more people die, I will be sure, right? That's what happened. That's the purpose people want. They want to do tax analytics. Save life. Save money. It's not just for fun, okay? Back one, okay. A lot of it needs to have data mining, linguistic. Many of the text mining related to the language. The way German or Korean or Chinese or English expression, expression anger would be different. Some would be very rude, rough. Some would be very polite. But they also very expressing the anger for something. So that is the, uh, the linguistic the sentiment aspect, the cultural aspect of the language. You need to include the AI, okay? Uh, just some example. Uh, some of the uh, brand of a Canon, a new release, the camera. People will be talking about the size, the weight, everything, the lens. As a basic sentiment analysis, we say like or dislike. Is it good enough? If you're talking about the description about the uh, hamburger, kangaroo burger, fish burger, how nice it is going to the theme park in uh, in, uh, in Hong Kong Disneyland, 
is it enough? Just like or dislike. It's not enough. In, in order to express, it's quite okay, but the what? Okay. Oh, the queue is so long. What? I queue up for six hours. The game is only 45 seconds. You're not kidding me. Excited. So they are expression about, let's say, the business. Okay, for the context, consumer thing. Beyond just like or dislike. It's very hot. Is it good or not? Or, or, or good or bad? If it is a, 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 a Sherlock stick, so hot, mm, good taste. But if it is a mobile phone, so hot meaning, not good. It also depending on the nature of the product. It is very complicated. But you are reading such text every day on social media. Don't lie to me, everyone, I just spent two hours on your, on your social media. Another two hours on, on computer game. Only come to class for one hour. That was me, okay, that was me when I was a student. So just like or dislike is not enough. Now you see the motivation. Mm. So uh, you need to uh, train up the document and score it, do the matching. I just want to show you some example. Stylometry application. We know Shakespeare, some famous author. Are you sure to be or not to be? It's written actually by Shakespeare. People has a, a new thought. So how do they do? They compare by tax mining the textual composition of this book versus the other book we believe from Shakespeare to see the style with the same by computer. Okay, that is the, the kind of thing. Uh, and, and, uh, and also, uh, one of the earlier uh, usage of hexact mining, you know, the United States Constitution, they say it was written by Jefferson, one of the United States founders. I wish you it was written by Jefferson. So they're using Jefferson's other private letter to see the style, to determine whether the Constitution has a major contribution by Jefferson. Okay? That's mine. I guess most of you have not talk, heard about such thing. And also the documentation in your email archive, internal. People send in from customers. Are they complaining saying, hey, your product is good? Wait, or are they complaining? Can computer automatically based on the text itself? Hey, there's a big complaint. By the text, mile, text mining categorization going to the complaint customer service. The computer can determine part of this, okay? Many of other applications, whether it's to mail you, to place you, or complain, we have time, we have time, okay? Okay. Later on, I'll show you an example. For you, that's about uh, undergraduate master, subject about 130, let's say 140. Undergraduate come 2121 is one of the 130 subjects. I want to learn about being checked. I want to learn about tax mining. Which subject should I go? I'm going to find the subject which title is called a tax mining. The title only contains very small piece of information, right? Very small piece. Where can you find syllabus? When you open the 2121, they have the title, they have the syllabus, they have the what to do. They are 100 some subjects, and FAS have 2,000 courses. Where can I learn about the uh, data mining or data analytics? We don't know. So one of the examples later on I'll show you would be to help you as a student to select which subject can do what. Now, students have only narrowed motivation. What happens if you are the department head of computing department, newly recruited? 
you walk into the department of computing. Yeah, you are experienced. You are a root in computing. And you heard about the classes are quite old style. It's not just poly you pay. All existing university might have some subjects not updated. Okay. How can you know that whether your subject is in line with MIT, in line with Stanford? I have no time. There are 200 classes. So if somebody throw the 200 or 150 subject into the tax mining and give a quick snapshot about what it is, where is metals? Where is NFT? How come among all the 130 subjects today, I don't see such a jargon. When the students are on high demand, blockchain, right? When such a snapshot result coming out this weekend, I as a boss can immediately call the professors. Hey, how come our classes are very lacking behind comparing to MIT, comparing to Hong Kong U, for example? Can we do something next semester? We create some new subjects. If the, the department had not even knowing the gap, how can they create anything? There are things on earth you cannot use your eyeball to do the analysis. Okay, another example. iPhone 14 is about to release. Well, when Mac 50, right? It's about to release. Apple like to know about the customer opinion. Vice versa. How can they know? They will be going to Apple, will be going to the Huawei, Facebook, social media. It's, it's, it's a lot of bug. The camera is not as uh, high resolution you claim. The 5 is still not working. It's very happy. They like to know about the analysis. There are 5 million entrants on that Facebook. I'm Tim Cook. Can I make 5 million entrants? I cannot. I can. I need to use computer to do the digest. I'm Tim Cook. I asked my iPhone 14 project director, give me a one page report about a Huawei offer tomorrow from their social media. How can they do it? Tax money. They can use computer to digest the 5 million entrants. Snapshot the key input. Okay? That's the motivation. So I uh, quickly going in. And also some of the forensic thing, abnormal uh, thing. Forensic, uh, uh, for example, uh, there have been a case. A company asking the opinion from the subordinate. What do you think about the boss? Anomalous, no need. Okay. So they are asking not just five, Four, three, two, one. They're asking you input type of test. How can you do it? Knowing about what the boss have been doing well or not. In what way? Tax mining. Okay. Later I'll show you an example. Okay. Some company restrict to put the name or the ID of the end customer on email. You cannot type it directly. Uh, I don't mean, I don't know whether it's legal or we will, will be subject to discipline. How can you know? Should you put a person reading all the colleagues mail? In some country it's illegal. Use computer to detect it. That is one method. Okay. That is the open end question survey. Asking internally, what do you what do you believe the operation of the company, the attitude of the boss, etc. Open end. The VP of our division retired mentally years ago. Still show up. What does it mean? He coming to work, get the pay, but he's not working. It's not just like what it's like. That could represent the most. The categorization. The expense system should allow you to submit multiple expense report in. That means today they only allow one on a time. The company need a rapid response system to dispel negative rumor both. 
The company need to teach managers how to run meeting. It's not effective in the meeting. Over there. They are 5,000. How can you do the categorization? Can you, it's not a research question, project question. Can you categorize the 5,000 in the category of 10 nature, 10 classes? Why, why not deal with all the 5,000? You cannot, how can people deal with 5,000 comments? You have limited resources. You can only deal with limited set, 10 or 8. You can set it. All the 5,000 entrants, I want just 8 type. Computer, you help me to calculate. So you, you have the 8. It's manageable. Okay? You understand? How about 5,000, 50,000? How can you categorize 50,000 different opinions? You cannot react. Lee Kassin cannot react. Lee Long Luch cannot react, right? Fair. I just want eight times. So from these, I can have a better control. Do this kind of project, you can win your capital class. Seriously. That is the problem statement. Okay. Now, example. Okay, so I uh, go into the example. We have time. Now, that is the background of the story. A few years back, poly undergraduate classes, like what you're doing 21-21, there are many subjects. You can go to the intranet to find out. So we open up the syllabus and copy all those into an Excel. It's not too difficult. Just into the Excel. Three column. So you have an Excel come 2121 with the syllabus. Part of the syllabus, not the whole thing. So uh, we, we create this now. I have a wheel system. It's not a PowerPoint. It's a wheel system, okay? You can go to the laboratory later on to play or over the weekend. People use the technique I just done to finish the capstone project. Yes. New project. Walter uh, 888, okay? Somewhere, anywhere. So I, next. Uh, the PQ604 BC might be a little bit slower. Now, last time last week, I showed the data mining. The data is sample. This time I show something else. Your own data, right? You have your own data. You collect from somewhere, okay? So we... Uh... New library, new library. Create a library to contain your own data. So it's, uh, let's say it's a uh, wall line, okay? Walter library. The path is where you store your data. It happened, I have it stored uh somewhere in a second 2121 sas oh no let, let me see where where i put it okay okay i i put it onto the root okay okay it's c on c okay now i do it i do it again PC, C, it happened, my data is on here. Happen, it can be anywhere you like, okay?
So I have my library defined it. I uh, create a diagram. Hex. Walter. Doesn't matter, any name. Last time our data source was from a sample. This time is somewhere else. SAS table, browse. Do you see wall lab? Which I have just defined, right? My data, I have a lot of data. One of the file is called a subject A. Okay. Next. Bernard, I tell you, after seeing this demo, you might change your mind. Okay. We were talking about what his capstone should be text mining or data mining. See, okay. I have recorded. We will uh, let Joji to know it. Okay. Next. So you have a few columns for text mining. Doesn't matter. Just example. We have 117 classes, subjects. I can right click to explore to see whether it is the subject I have now. So far I have 117. That means I actually successfully imported. I had an earlier student, a field in this class or other class. For political analysis, I mentioned last time, they cloud some data, to the thousands, one, 100 thousands, they put them in. 100 thousand, can you use your eye to look at it? It's not fair. You might be biased after reading something you like. Human has a weakness. They like to see things they like. I'm human, you're human, you're human. So if you don't use computer to do the analysis, you're biased. People like to see only the thing they see. They don't like, they actually they are blind. Sample size is not many. So I pull the data out here. So I have the data. So actually everything is, uh, is contained here. So I will pull over text box passing text filter. Action, text mining, text passing. No, this is not a PowerPoint, it's a real system. Any student, have stone or not, if you believe this is interesting, I want to spend time on it, talk to us. If your computer is capacity enough, this is a six, seven years old computer with 16 gig, not big deal. You can run that fast. We can consider the software run on your own computer. Okay, but not abuse if you really need it. Burn it. Okay. So, uh, action. Filter. Uh, cluster and cl topic. Okay. The book talk about what they are. Okay. I give you some example. Text mining. Cluster and uh, topic. I tell you, uh, most university have only data mining. They don't have text mining. I have been fighting, encouraged the university to 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 invest. Okay, because I like this topic. So you move it. All right. Piece of cake, right? Link them together. That's the uh, the the way you you do it. You you build all this. Wait a second. Okay. Now I try to do it this way. The uh, on this sequence, I click in the middle. I run it. I run. I run to the text filter first. Actually, I, I just make it simple. You should exclude those preposition, a, the, or adjective. 
Oh no no, or the uh, the other unrelated uh, words. The most important words are the adjective, adverb, and verb, and some noun. Okay, so uh, okay, meaning all the way from here to here is clean, no syntax error. So I uh, going in to see the uh, result. Some of the results are quite interesting. A second. Oh, filter view. Okay, not here. Okay, sorry. Click on here. Forgive my eye. Now, filter viewer. There are many keywords on the left. Computer, of course, system, applications, management. I saw it. I feel interested in the English word that has a higher frequency, meaning among the 112, 117 subjects or 117,000 entrants for another analysis. The top appearance of the word the system and then we have that software etc so i go into the software i right click view concept link that is the interesting part now software application software i can expand it the syllabus had tried to link up software with application style devices developer information system or related to industry so these are the keyword appeared on the syllabus now might be another one more interesting security okay security is a more sensitive word people feel interest Security, message authentication. Of course, we teach encryption. Digital encryption related to payment, business payment. Okay. 117 subjects might only have limited number of keywords. But if you're talking about 100,000 entries for whatever topic, uh, the uh, smartphone market, theme park market, auto mobile market, the uh, boats, wagons, maintenance record, there would be millions of millions of things. And you just focus on the top three. That can help you to do the analysis. Whether one of your model for one particular component, it's about to fail killing more people. The motivation can be very strong. It's not just for fun. Hey, the battery is hot. I throw it away and buy another one. It's safe, right? Automobile is a highly complicated industry. Some people say uh, Huawei is taking over, winning with Apple. The, 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 the next battlefield. Haunting the world, good or bad, is the automobile. Japan is to be good in Toyota and in Toshiba. They are not catching it up because they have been late on the pure electric car R&D. They still believe in the next world. We will see Toyota and the Japan automobile. This business will be shrinking. Germany is struggling. Tesla, UID, those China electric car are really picking up. And many industry is like that. Once you pick up, pass over the tipping point, all the others will collapse. It's beyond 2021, 2021. But you are university student, I don't want to treat you like a kindergarten. But what I just said is the difference today. Let me repeat. For particular industry, in the good old day, we say the biggest three survive. That's a theory. 
whenever you go to a supermarket, uh, a big shopping mall, you will see three different kinds of supermarket. Walmart, uh, Kmart, something like that. In a telecommunication market, you will normally see PCCW in Hong Kong, Hutchison, Smart Home. The world normally stands. This is a site, it is a field. In the whole world, three will survive. All the others will be eaten up and disappear. Now I see, we see the automobile business would be in a deep turbulence. It also affects the business. The good old day doesn't. Smart electric car, self driving, IoT is highly related to computer. All the chips, Japan is not doing good. Uh, Germany is on a good stand, but they need to struggle. United States is, I don't see they can come back. Uh, Biden went to uh, Detroit. They sponsor that. Okay, now one more thing. With some of the example. Now. I close this one. So I click this one. I run it. We have uh, a few minutes. That's enough. The clustering would be the most in interesting. The purpose of clustering. In tax mining is for that number of entries with 117. There are other, other regulations you might have 50,000. I do not manage that many things. I can only manage 10 phone number in English. They say 10 phone number, five, eight, or 10. When I see there are 10 different things, I can, I can still allocate my top engineers to deal with something. 20, 50, you cannot. So this, this is automatically generated. So I sort it by the frequency. And uh, I going back. What I did the analysis. Sometimes you need to. Uh, do the manual look. So I sort it out. By the topic here. I copy them over. So they are about 12 category what kind of subject i'm the head of the department or you are the student what kind of subject we are being offered in department so these are the keyword with the highest on top so what is this type photo photo type photo code tcp networking right some of you taking networking Cultural university surface learning, obvious. Computer graphic we have. This is obviously multimedia. What, why multimedia standard? This kind of thing, these kind of keyword come together because they will do the analysis in one particular document. Why these are together? with the frequency, the computer tool for you. At the end, you still need to use the eyeball to do data related. Who do the clustering? The computer. You can, you can find two. I don't like 12. I want eight. Can you? Yeah, here's a button. Okay. This is more the uh, abstract algebra kind, kind of. Okay, this quick map, <coughs> mathematics. Neural network, data mining. Distributed computing. Security. Information system. This is more the EIS. More the EIS student. Jeff, you are EIS or FinTech? FinTech, okay. This was done long ago. We don't have that many FinTech jargon. I'm asking a student, Captain, this year doing a new one. Next year, the student 
might be at the end of the semester, I can show you, including the fintech jargon. Ethic. Project management, obviously. OO. Random blue light case. Problem solving. This was old. It did not include fintech. It, it was okay a few years ago. But if yesterday the head of computing coming in, you do not think that. There's no key of blockchain. You're not kidding me. What kind of computing department you are? Right? Correct. I, I just want to tell you the motivation why tax mining is needed if you were a teacher, if you, if you were the manager, if you were the investor. You cannot use your eyeball to analysis 50. 50,000 entries on Facebook, you cannot. You have to use machine and also one more reason. In some countries, using eyeball, find a human to look at the email of your staff is both unethical and illegal somehow. I have encountered that, okay? I was promoting internet email thing 20 years ago. Well, thank you, German firm. I went to Malaysia to steal the 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 the, uh, the colleague. We were very worried. Uh, you you doing this? Will you be looking at my access something? I'm not email. Da, 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 da. We need to have a filter to avoid people going to the casino site. Things like that. The manager in Malaysia worry very much. You looking at. Walter, you are the security head. You're looking at the individual colleagues' activity, are you? I say no. We only use machine to look at it. We don't personally look at it. And that message, only exceptional handling going to you. You're the boss. I don't look at it. If you are the boss in Malaysia, CMD should not be assessing Dr. Gambling. You talk to me, so we do something. Might be an accident, but we did habitually go to the casino site. So that is a another reason for internal document email when you do not want to use human, illegal or unethical to watch something. You use tax mining. <clears throat> so this is the uh, example. In prior year, some students have been using, using this. It's a capital project speculating the price of the Bitcoin for a particular period. Whether we should buy or sell. Now, this one project, I just talked to one of the ladies uh, in class, not here, capstone. By saying to her, use it as a capital project, compare the four output from the United States, Reuters, AP, the branding, the second country, the United Kingdom, the Guardian, BBC, the third one from Germany somewhere. What's the most, most famous newspaper online? Online. Okay, okay. But in English? Okay. And also the fourth one in China. Correlate between the increase of the effect, United States interest, to the actual effect of forcing the in inflation going down. The research question is the United States government want to use increasing the interest rate as a weapon to fight against the inflation. That is what we heard from his agenda. Does it work? What the Native American people say? What the British people say? That affect because when you increase the interest rate in the United States, many other countries are forced to comply, follow you to an extent, to an extent. Increase of interest rate, drop down the inflation. Does it work? What do they say? Maybe you might, maybe you will say, forget it. It's all rubbish. Come on, I'm 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 so cool, cold to die. I don't have food. I lost my job. Maybe I don't know. So I'm asking 
the student to compare a few countries, you say this, is it a hard science? It's not. It's only talking about the behavior, the expression from civilians. Tax mining cannot do everything, okay? Don't misunderstand. I'm not saying it can resolve all problems, but it might give you some hint. Some hint, okay? It's not hard science, okay? So you change your mind, Bernard? Uh, that's about what I have today. Uh, I guess today is hot. Jack, today is as happy as last time for the purple. So far, let's see what Michelle will do today. Uh, I like to give the room back to the next picture, although the power one didn't give me too much. 1.30 or 2.30, I see you in PQ. Thank you. So you never see this, right? Most children never see it.